guys welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're here for the first time welcome and if you're returning subby welcome back to the fam bam here's the snack i went to Prennywise, right and i decided to pick up a local brand that is usually overlooked the name of the brand is called caramia i picked up a couple items from them there i took up like the foundation the powder um an eyeshadow palette so we have a good look coming so guys here the snack ah! we are going to have some fun with this one product local product review also hmm, forget to put i got some brushes from my girl heaven sent cosmetics she is a local MUA in Trinidad and Tobago. She also has eyeshadow palettes, highlighter, and all of that good stuff. But for now, I'm trying out her brushes. So, yeah, guys, keep on watching. Ah! So, using Caramia products only to do my brows. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. So, I'm going to prep my eyebrows using their translucent powder in white. So, let's see how this works, guys. Now, with the Caramia, I am accustomed to their translucent, but it's translucent sorry, powder, and it does the job. It gives me the base that I need. But you see, this item here, <laughs> your girl never used it before. This is the Eyebrow Styler by Caramia in the shade Black Brown. No, <laughs> I'm opening it for the first time. It looks a little light. <laughs> Let me see how it apply now. Oh my God. But the nice thing about it, it has a spoolie on the end. So at least if you're um on the go, like let's say you travel, you go like Tobago or wherever, and you need to do your brows, at least you know you have a spoolie. You could, you know, you don't have to walk with too much product, too much items in your makeup bag. So that's a plus for me. So I'm going to brush up the brows in an upward motion and I'm going to fill them in basically. So let's see how this goes. Oh. Okay. It has a weird consistency. Can't quite put my finger on it as yet, but it's, it's, it's giving me a little color peel off. I don't know what it's looking like on camera for you guys, but it's, it's okay. It's giving me a little some 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 to work with. So and I'm gonna just brush that out. Brush that out like that. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, it's saying some come here, saying some a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Uh. Let's try the next brow now. Now, this eyebrow pencil was, how much is this for, boy? This was like $20, which is a little pricey because I have my favorite eyebrow pencil that I use that's only $3. But, hey, it's convenient. It has a spoolie at the end and it's retractable, so there's no need for sharpening and stuff like that. So, I'm okay. I'll give this uh hmm. Out of five, how much would I give this? I could, I could give it a 2.5. It's halfway there. So I'm going to clean up my eyebrows and I'll be right back. So I'm back. My eyebrows are prepped and my lids are prepped. And we're going in with Caramia Eyeshadow Palette. Heartbreaker is the name. <laughs> it's cute. It's giving me some neutral with a little pop of color so we'll see what we could come up with with this and also i have my girl heaven sent cosmetics she has lovely brushes and also eyeshadow palettes and lashes so for today we're going to try her brushes i have her 15 piece brush set with face and eyeshadow so i'm using these 
I think this pulley missing. What do we this pulley? Yeah, here it is. She has a spoolie and a shader brush, a couple of shader brushes, and we have a couple eyeshadow brushes. And yeah, I could use this. This is good quality, feels nice though. So we're gonna go in. I think I'm going to do a pink smoky eye. I'm guessing. Let's see how that turns out. So I'm gonna grab my mirror needs to see yeah <laughs> and we're gonna go in with hmm, doo -doo -doo -doo. what should we go in with i'm gonna start with this brown here in my transition area this brown right here in the transition area in my crease and start to build from there so let's, okay it's a little okay let's see let's see let's give it a fair chance guys Let's not be too quick. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's saying something. All right. Hi. Nice. Okay. All right. It's the payoff is nice. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice, actually. Very nice. It's a nice soft brown. nice transition color so above that i think i'm going to go in with the lighter color which is this one here yeah i'm going to go in with that and put that right up onto my brown boot and i think i'm going to use the same brush just wipe it off and yeah so we're going to go right beneath the brow bone area right here like so and just tap and sweep and blending that right there not bad it's giving you a soft a nice soft finish so like you could you could you could rock this to work the boss ain't got think the makeup too loud it's it's nice it's subtle so what's gonna happen now <laughs> i'm gonna figure out what it is i want to do what i'm gonna do what i'm gonna do <gasps> I'm in a pretty comment here, guys. I'm not sure what I want to do, but we're building. So I'm going to go in with the deeper brown and darken up my crease just a slight bit. I think, I think I'm going to do a full cut crease, I think. But I may need some help. I'm not sure. I may try to do it with one. I may try to do a full mat. Eh, we're going to see. Keep on watching. Bad at all. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Even a nice shadow. And that color that I put in there was the last second to last color. Not the black, but this color right here. Yeah, that one. <laughs> so we're gonna go deep in the crease with that and see how it goes. So far, um for twenty dollars, guys. Not a bad buy. Not a bad buy at all. Not sure what I'll give it as yet, but you see. You know I'm a girl on a budget, so I'ma try it. If it works, I'ma keep it. If not, oh well. <laughs> that could have been a plenty for twenty and that I wasted, but hey, what we gonna say? What we gonna say? <laughs> Only trainees gonna know that what that means, yeah. <laughs> Because I don't think anywhere else in the world have a plenty for 20. <laughs> what do you guys think? If you're not from Trinidad and Tobago, and where you are has a 20 for, plenty for 20 deal, comment down below. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if it's just Trinidad has that lovely deal from the great KFC. <laughs> so I'm going in with... Oh, she has this, this rounded blending brush i'm gonna take that and i'm gonna dip into that first <laughs> that first brown excuse me there that first brown i'm gonna dip into that and uh, huh. let me see i catch a banana here but jesus christ 
Let's try that again. But I don't know how it's looking on camera, but it's working out okay, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Y'all tell me. <laughs> this is going to be so funny. So, I'm going to cut my crease and I'll be back here with my eyelids prepped again with concealer. And now I'm going to go in with the first pink to pink shade that I used in my crease and I'm going to pat that right there in my middle third not bad at all okay <laughs> okay all right Carmia is saying something honey. saying something for $20? Not bad. Not bad at all. What I think I'm going to do, I'm going to see how many different looks I could get using this one palette, which may not be much because this is fully matte. This has no shimmers in it, guys. So you could use this in combination with like your other shimmer palette so i think i'll do things stuff like that i'll add a shimmer look to it but the pink looks nice so and the inner i'm going to use white i'm gonna use this brush here dip into the white let's see what payoff i'm gonna get with the white okay 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 Dusty, but I can work with it. No, white is white. White is usually white and yellows and those colors. Uh, oh, it, it's kind of strange to work with, but I'll have to go back and forth a little between these two. But given the price range, it's not bad at all. So I'm gonna go back in into that pink again, and I'm gonna blend these two together like such uh, i'm not sure how it's looking on the camera but it's looking fairly well here so i'm gonna go back again not adding any more but just blending those two colors together and i picked up a lot of yeah boy Ooh. okay don't know if you could see that, but that's a lot of product in my brush. And it's transferred onto the pink. So, let, let's try that again on, on, on the other side, shall we? <coughs> so I'm going to go in with that pink again. Mm -hmm. It has a nice peel terms of the color i'm not sure how it's looking on camera as i said guys so bear with me i know what it's looking like in person it looks it looks okay it's workable so yeah and i'm going to go in with the white um, now guys these brushes are really nice they are you should get some Especially for those who are beginners, it have it has a lot of options in terms of the spoolie for your brows, the the eyeshadow brush, the shader brushes. Yeah, it's 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 good. Okay, cool. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's not bad at all. Not bad at all not bad at all so now that i'm finished with this part just adding just a little more in the inner corner of my eyes 
but I'm liking the softness of the look. To get away with it. Yeah, not bad at all. Okay, Carmia, you're telling me something. You're speaking, you're speaking. You're saying something. You're saying hello. And I'm saying hi back. Hi. This is nice. So now, it's finished with the palette. I have, I picked up their eyeliner pencil. But sorry, not eyeliner pencil. Their liquid felt tip liner. That's what it is. Now I have two colors. I have their purple. <laughs> Y'all know purple is my favorite color. I couldn't help it. And black. So I'm going to use the black and I'm going to wing out my eyes and uh, put on some lashes and yeah, let's see. Let's put this look together. very pigmented I must say it's gliding very nicely also oh, okay Carmi are you saying things you're saying things girlfriend okay I think I'll go a little big on the liner here let's see how this looks Nicely. Not bad at all. Now let's see how best I could get the same thing on the other eye. The struggle is real, guys. The struggle is real. Oh my god. Nice. But so far, for these products being under a particular price, not bad at all. Now, if, if this comes out the way I'm hoping for it to come out, now, Carmia could be an everyday go-to type of flick, you know? Go to work and, you know, leave the more expensive brands, you know, for like those types of occasions. I'll just have to clean up a little bit there. Because y'all know the struggle is really with the liners. Uh huh. The struggle is really. But it, it, it went on nice. Okay, 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 Carmia. <laughs> okay. You get out of five, I give this a 4.5. Yeah. I like this. The palette, I'll give it like a three. A strong, a, a strong three. A soft 3.5. Yeah, I'll give it that. So, that is it for the eyes. So, I'm going to do my face. But I'm going to prime and prep it for the foundation. So, I'll be right back. And my face is prepped. And prime and ready for this foundation, guys. So we have Caramia foundation in the shade caramel. And I'm going to be using Heaven Sent 
face brushes. So she has some powder brushes that I'll be using for later. And she has a lovely contour brush. A lovely brush that I think I'm going to be using for like to blend out my highlight. And some foundation brushes to apply the foundation and to blend. So let's just get into this. So I have some of the foundation to the back of my hand. And I am going to use my mirror. Because I need to see. <laughs> you know. And I'm going to apply. Okay. Okay. I'm going to apply the foundation on my face. It's a little lightish. But we go, we go work it. We go work it. It's feeling like a lightish. I, I know you guys see the light. I know you see the, that it's lighter. I know it's not me alone, but we pushing through. The reason why I took this color is the need a little more. The color after this is called ebony, but it has a reddish undertone, and I know I don't have a red undertone, so that's why I took the caramel, and I said I'll make it work. So you know what? We're gonna make it work. Yeah. So let me just get a little more here. Uh huh, and let's put some around the face and the, on the forehead like such. But it's not bad. It's not bad. It's it's workable. I I can I can work with it. So I'm gonna just apply all over the face, and I'm gonna go back in and blend it out, and then let's see how it blends in so i'm using that beautiful brush where is you right in my hand in a hot mess using this brush and we're going to blend um, okay then let's see what happens here okay oh okay man you're telling me something it's not bad. I hope I'm not looking like a oomph -oomph or too yellow like a lemon. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Let's see how it goes. It's drying really fast. That's a good and a bad thing. That's a good and a bad thing. So that means I have to work very quickly with this. So let's go on this side like such. Under the eye, over the nose, but it's 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 co mm, it's covering some stuff. I guess the brush is doing a very good job, though. Hmm. 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 I'm not sure how to feel right now, <laughs> but let's keep pushing. Let's keep pushing. I need a little more. Um, what does what does Carmia have to say about their foundation? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So it's their liquid matte foundation, fragrance free, oil free, and non comedogenic. <laughs> it's one point eight one eight fluid ounces or thirty five milliliters. They say shake well before using. A apply to one area of the face at a time i understand why because it dries really fast so guys don't do like me and put it all over your face and then try to blend it put a little at a time and blend as you go okay so let's try this again uh -huh. so i'm going to put a little more around my mouth like such but it dries down is it buildable mm. i'm not sure how to feel guys i'm not sure my nose is like doing something <laughs> hmm okay caramia i'll give it a fair chance i am i am i promise i promise i am you need to work with my mom Not sure how it's looking on camera, but we'll see. Not sure, but we'll see. 
but this foundation was for like $29 which is not a bad price either so I'm building as fast as I can because it's drying down really fast and yes it is matte they're not lying when they say it matte it matte so now that I would have put that let me come back with my contour because they didn't have any shade dark enough for me to contour with highlights and i'll come back with my face for the powder aspect of it so i'll be right back right so i'm gonna bake this is not caramel though this is sasha buttercup this is my go-to <laughs> for setting under my eyes Um, bringing that and trying to blend that out there and let's go on the next side nice mm -hmm. looking up to the father I'm praying that your makeup comes out good <laughs> oh god so right so i'm setting under my eyes and all other highlighted area so that would be the bridge of my nose let's go and my somewhat existent forehead may look too big at times and then when i do a side profile it's like where is your forehead child anyway that's my problem that's my issue to deal with <laughs> and my cupid my upper lip and under my chin so like such and uh, yeah oh i so so and that's it there for that so now, calling in my friend from Caramia, her face powder in the shade Ebony. So the plan is, and hopefully it works out, that I get, I'm studying to use the brush or if to use my puff. And I'm gonna use the brush. So using Heaven Scent fluffy brush, I'm gonna swirl inside there like such and apply it to the rest of my face and blend in that highlight in uh -huh. like such. Swirl again and let's do the other, the other side like so. I'm going to bring the look together, getting rid of whatever may be too bright. Yeah, I need it too. Hmm, not bad. Let's go to the, for uh, the forehead area. Um, let's see how that goes. Just set the rest of the face, patting. guys i must say <laughs> this look is pulling together i love how my brows are looking i may have to go back in to fix the inner corner of my eyes because i lost the white yeah i don't know where it went but i lost the white but in all not bad not not bad not bad at all so Seeing that ebony is the darkest shade that Caramia carries, I had to get myself my favorite contour and highlight palette from LA Pro. LA Girl Pro. And this is in the shade Deep. And this is the color. So I'm going to go in with the contour shade and. Uh, I'm going to blush because I didn't get a blush from them either. I'm going to fix the white in the inner third of my eye. And I'll be back. Alright, so 
we've made it to the end of the video and honestly guys <laughs> watching back the footage i really gave karamia a hard time my face looks really nice it's i'm i'm shook at for the price i paid for these five items i'm shook at and actually one of my favorites out of all is the eyebrow pencil i really like it gave me a soft a soft look I, i'm not how could put it it's not as harsh as the promade so i like this i really do like this and with the foundation what i learned with this foundation you really have to move fast it dries quickly guys but once it settles into your skin lovely love it love it love it give it a try guys give it a try i like this i really do and for the price point i try it and huh, what else i liked boy well i already use i usually use the translucent powder because i set my eyebrows before i apply my brow products so that's a given that's already in my arsenal however this i like this is the ebony in their press powder i really really liked the finish it 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 pulled the look together with the sasha buttercup under the eyes and everything they worked well together this this is my og guys everyday look this lip pencil love it i usually mix it with vixen so that's what's on my lip at this time so this out of five five point five always love this like the foundation the foundation get a four with the stain power so far it it feels good on the skin love the pencil and i love the powder so basically guys karmia is a win for me i can use it every day i won't use it for like let's say i have a function to go to or an event no i'll i'll rock i'll go towards my higher end products that i have that works that last during the day when i have to go and do performances and i know i'll be sweating and stuff yeah i'll use those but for like this she could get used she should get she can get some use she will she'll get some use and you'll see her again trust me she'll be back she'll be back on the channel mm -hmm, she will ah the palette um it's good I must say, Heartbreaker, out of 5, you get a 3.5. Why I give it a 3.5? No. The pink, I love. The white, however, mm -mm. It, it disappeared. I, didn't know, I don't know where it gone. Are you guys seeing it? But I didn't bother because, you know, I did my eyes first and foundation after. So, I'm guessing with the blending and all of that, the white decide to say bye. But apart from that, it's nice. The other, the darker colors, very nice. So this could get used, but in conjunction with another palette, I would, I would not use it on its own. Again, however, I love the bronze. They'll make good transition shades for me, or to darken up my crease and stuff like that. So it will be used again. It's something that, that I would go to again. I wouldn't gravitate to it as much, but I know that if I need a nice brown, the brown's in this. Thumbs up. So I'll give it a 3.5. And yeah, guys, basically, that's it. That's it for me. This is the face. Good to see Karamia. Thanks for staying to the end of this video. And see you in the next one. Bye.